Can you wait up? Oh. It helps if you put the right headphones on. Hello? Sorry, I had the wrong headphones on. <laughs> the guitar part's kind of what made uh, what what made the song sound like us, really. Because up until then it was just like four chords going round. And I kind of got this like weird sound of like a combination of pedals that I still can't figure out how I did it. You know, towards the end of it, bring the echo in. So maybe even start a little bit of uh, wah filtering or something. Wah filtering? A bit of Hendrix. That's a trip. The five of us are writing now, it just feels so natural and so instinctive um, and easy. It's very, very easy. It's never been easy, it's always been, you know, monumentally hard. I've, I've likened it before, but it, it really does feel like I've been kicking a medicine ball my whole life, only for somebody to just hand me a football in a wide open goal. And that's kind of doubly appropriate now, I suppose. Kind of ironic that I was saying all that back then. You know, it should be a great song first, which then goes on to be, you know, a great football song. You know, like You'll Never Walk Alone, you know, it wasn't written as a football song. And you can't really compare this song to Three Lions or World in Motion because those songs weren't immediately taken into people's hearts when they were written. They became classics because the England teams did really well in those years. They become classics by association because of their cultural importance, you know. I mean, I'm not saying that they're not good songs, they are good songs. Um, but I think, I think to measure this song against those songs and, isn't fair until after the World Cup's finished.